Hello, everybody. Um, this is DFS Chan coming to you to talk about June 18th, League of Legends DFS Slate. Um, sorry, it's, it's a little late uh, for the video tonight, but um, I just came back from a minor league baseball game, so that was exciting. But I'm here to talk about tomorrow's five-game slate, um, three games in China and two games in Korea. Um, just like the good old days. Um, so here we are. So let's dive in without further ado. So LPL, uh, it's pretty straightforward, I, th I think, in my opinion uh, today. Um, LGD versus V5. V5 is still without rookie, uh, the typical mid laner for the team. Uh, Dream is starting for the second time because of rookies uh, quarantine slash visa issues, I believe. Um, Dream actually looked pretty decent, um, so I, I'm, I'm actually not too worried about this, except you see XLB is starting at Jungle instead of Karsa. So that's kind of surprising in my opinion, but then at the same time, LGD, in my opinion, grades out as the probably one of the worst teams in the, in the, in the, in the Chinese league. Um, I know they looked horrible uh, in the last time out, so let's look at uh, their past game. Who do they play? But I remember they were really bad. Um, yeah, JDG. So JDG dropped one game in the game one, but I really don't think that was uh, LGD's showing, strong showing in my opinion. I think it was more for uh, JDG's kind of tendencies to overlook at uh, overlook their opponents here. Um, I know Kanavi kind of, got, <laughs> as funny as this sounds, Kanavi got out jungle by shadow. Uh, in game one and then game two jdg step stepped up kanavi got viego um i think whoever gets viego really wins the games in this patch i think it's as long as they get resets and everything but i mean shadow played viego again but kanavi actually countered um uh viego very well with uh Ta talia the, the champion um that's in the meadow right now in my opinion um being played in a lot of regions uh so yeah, anyway, so I really liked uh, JDG's showing here, but then JDL uh, in game two and three. LGD, I think even though they won game one against JDG, I really don't think they were that great um, throughout the series. Um, they were going back to their old uh, tendencies, which, you know, were kind of out of sync. Uh, they were kind of, they looked disjointed um, at times, especially in the bottom lane. Um, so I just feel like V5 should win this pretty easily, even though the swap at jungle with XLB. The next matchup is TES Top Esports versus IG Invictus Gaming. Uh, this is going to be a pretty good matchup. I think Top Esports um, coming off of a loss, I think they always play good. Um, I think I'm going to see who they play. They play against, oh, Team W, who they lose to in the first yeah, they lost to JD Gaming. And then, oh man, this is their third game already. They beat Team WE, but then Team WE, in my opinion, is probably the worst, uh, one of the worst teams um, in the region, in my opinion. So, and then who, who's that? Jackie Love against Wink. Yeah, Invictus Gaming. Invictus Gaming lost to Weibo Gaming first. And they beat FPX when they were least expected to beat FPX, but then FPX looked pretty bad at times. So I understand. I think coming off of a win uh, with confidence, I think Jackie Love, Wayward looked really good too. Um, I'm going to have to favor top esports here, but <sighs> IG tends to win when they're least expected to win. <laughs> So I think IG definitely has a shot, I think. Um, I think June and Yukai played pretty well in the last series, but top esports, I think Jackie Love with confidence is pretty scary. So I think they're going to go back to their old days. And this is the time I think you can kind of, uh, um, you know, ride the start of a streak. Maybe top esports will go on, I think, because I think they, I mean, Top esports goes as Jackie Love goes, confidence goes. I think so. I think after beating Team WE, I think they're and Jackie Love against his old team. I think he's gonna be motivated to play, not make many mistakes. Uh, so I'm gonna fully expect Top esports to win. Actually, 
like I said, Team WE um, is one of the worst teams, in my opinion, grade, grades out to be at least, uh, at least from what I've seen so far. Um, and then Weibo Gaming, you know, they've been inconsistent. Um, but this is an interesting one because let's see what the odds are. The odds are closer than I thought it was going to be. Weibo Gaming looked shaky with the shy in the top lane at times and Huan Feng and on in the bottom lane. So, yeah, let's see. So V5 has the highest odds, which I understand, even though they have a new jungler. Top esports. Well, I don't think they deserve these odds that, that, that high. I know LGD is bad, but top esports should win. Weibo Gaming should win as well. If I have to pick, like, one team to maybe upset, I think, I mean... LGD, no, I can't do that. I don't know if I have the balls to pick LGD. <laughs> just because I don't, I just don't think they're good. Like the bottom lane, especially, which is very important in this meta, like I said. Um, and then I think Top Esports will win. And then maybe Team WE here. I mean, just the, the fact that Weibo Gaming has been inconsistent this season so far, um, maybe there, but I, don't, I think all favorites will win. So that's why I said like at the beginning of this video that it's pretty straightforward in my opinion, but then upsets tend to happen. So all right, Gen G should win LD and DLCK. HLE is horrible. Sorry, that's it, period. In terms of kill upside, HLE uh, tends to create decent amount of team fights. So I think Gen G has a pretty good... Uh, kill upside there and then drx versus fredit brian fredit brian plays very slow like like historically slow so drx should win this but at the same time i don't i don't really like their kill upside but then their ownership's gonna be low as well so who knows but i think this is gonna be the lowest kill upside and then here third here or i guess fourth um and then Three here, T E S I G. Two, no, sorry. Three is Weibo Gaming and Team W E. Two is V5. I think this is going to be the fastest matchup, in my opinion. Top Esports versus Invictus Gaming. Uh, I think that's going to be the fastest matchup. And I think Top Esports will be in the, that's going to be my take of the day. I think Top Esports will be in the optimal lineup of the slate. That's the that's the stands I'm taking, and I like top esports here tonight. Um, so we'll see what Jackie Love does, whether he does Jackie Love things. But at the end of the day, they should win this series, and I think IG is gonna try very hard, um, to to beat this team. But Jackie Love against his former team, and then the fact that they are coming off of a win and with confidence, I really like top esports uh, to be in the optimal lineup today. But if you guys have any other, other questions, and I know some people have asked about the kill projection um, and the prize picks, tendency uh, picks and all that. So if I were to have a prize picks, uh, um, kills total over or assist or total over, over under, um, I would go with here, Jackie Love over. I would say wayward over just based on these two matchups i think those are those two are my favorite prize picks of the day today and then let me see and then in the lck i think another prize picks my favorite is i'd say ruler this is a ruler ruler or peanut over the kills threshold whatever that kill number is for ruler and peanut, because I really like the matchup here individually against on fleek and Sam D and Vista, uh, Vista in the bottom lane. Um, I like Gen G to score pretty well today. Um, unlike the other LCK matchup here, DRX and versus bro. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or just want to chat league of legends, DFS or league of legends in general. I'm happy to do that. Um, I'll be up probably for the rest of the night um, at DFS Chan. Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you please uh, subscribe and you'll be able to see other videos about other sports. But yeah, let me know. Have good luck out there. Thanks, everybody.